Hi everyone, it's Container Ship Experience again. Part 2. Lashing Components Fixed Fittings Attached to Ship Cell Guides Cell guides are pillar-like structures which have recesses at all four sides to fit container corners. Flush socket. Flush sockets are used for locating base twist locks or stacking cones in the cargo hold. Normally fitted over a small recess to ensure water tightness. Raised socket. Locating base twist locks or stacking cones on deck. Lashing plate or pad eye. Tie down point for turnbuckle on deck or hatch cover. Designed only for in plane loading. An out of plane load could bend the plate and may crack the connecting weld. D ring. Alternative tie down point for a turnbuckle. Corrosion of the pin ends can weaken a D ring. Suitable for in-plane and out-of-plane loading. Dovetail Foundation Base for sliding dovetail twist lock. Fixed stacking cone. To prevent horizontal movement of 20 foot containers and 40 foot cell guides. Often found at the base of a cell guide. Mid bay guide. To prevent transverse movement of 20 foot containers and 40 foot guides. Fitted at tank top level. Loose fittings. Loose fittings are those that are not permanently attached to the ship. Loose fittings must be certified by class or appropriate recognized authority. Lashing rod or lashing bar. To provide support for container stacks on deck. Used in conjunction with a turnbuckle. <laughs> Extension piece, rod to extend a lashing rod when securing high-cube containers. Turnbuckle or bottle screw To connect a lashing rod to a lashing plate or D-ring. Tightening puts tension into a lashing rod. Hanging stacker Used in holds where 20-foot containers are carried in 40-foot guides. Locks into corner casting above. Semi-automatic twist lock. Placed between containers in a stack. Locks into corner casting above and below. Automatically locks into the lower container when placed on top. Unlocked manually. Twist lock, or base or manual twist lock, placed between containers in a stack. Locks into corner castings above and below, but mostly used to secure containers to the deck. Each fitting requires locking after fitting. Stacking cone. Place between containers in a stack and slots into corner castings. Fully automatic twist lock. Place between containers in a stack. 
locks into container casting above, hooks into container casting below. Mid lock. Place between containers in a stack. Locks into corner castings above and below. Used on deck between 20 foot containers and 40 foot bays, at mid bay position. Loose fittings and less common use. These fittings are not commonly used but may be encountered occasionally. Fitting a bridge piece requires access to the container top, something that should be avoided unless it is necessary. Sliding dovetail twist lock to connect bottom containers to the ship. Bridge fitting to link together the top of the containers of two adjacent stacks can be used on deck or in a hold. Buttress. External support for container stacks in a hold. Double stacking cone. To link adjacent stacks, particularly those in line with buttresses. Load equalizing device to balance the load between two paired lashings. Penguin hook used as a supporting device in conjunction with a special lashing rod with an eye end. Elongated socket locating base twist locks or stacking cones on deck. Detailed information about lashing materials you can find in the cargo securing manual that is kept on board of the ship.